Hello, my crafty friends. Today I am sharing the birthday card I made to send to a friend. And I've got it in the envelope because I wanted to show you that it fits inside one of those standard envelopes we're using for mini sim lines. They are a number eight or sometimes they're called a six and three quarter inch envelope. In Canada and the US, they are readily available at even grocery stores. So now let me show you my card. It's an accordion card. And of course, as my cards usually do, it started with the patterned paper. So the patterned paper I chose, I've had in my stash for, for quite a while. It is the Ink Drops Vivid by Craft Consortium. And I haven't used it in a while. I love the colors. And people are still playing a lot with the alcohol inked background. And the die that I used to create the accordion itself, this is one of the new release items. It is the Landscape Rectangle Accordion. And it's designed so that even though that is a one long panel, you can choose to break it up into smaller pieces and, and get a lot of different looks for the accordion. I've made a number of cards with this die set already and I still am enjoying the long, uh, kind of sleek look of that long rectangle. You'll also notice the crosshatch edge there. That's also new. That is the short rectangles crosshatch. And there's not only the alternating crosshatch and straight edge with an embossed edge, there's a couple of different edges um, included in the set and then these flowers. So I've shared cards using these and the design team has also shared cards with them and it's just such a fun set. I love the variety and it's in my favorite mini slimline size, which is six inches by three and a half inches. The happy birthday, of course, is also Karen Berniston and I used the shadow. The shadow is a separate die that Karen came out with later on and oh, I'm so happy she did. I, I love that shadow background. Now there is a, kind of an offset as well because I initially did the shadow from the pattern paper and then did the happy birthday out of the same kind of royal blue as on the card base. Oh, I didn't like it. There wasn't enough contrast. So I cut it again from white cardstock and then just offset it slightly. So there's more of the crosshatch rectangles inside there. While I don't often decorate the back side of an accordion card, because this is only a two page accordion, the joy of these accordions is that you can make them as long as you want. You can add as many pages as you want on them. I liked the two page, but because it is a birthday card and there isn't really room for me to sign in my name, I did decorate the back. Just another small piece of the pattern paper a butterfly and some bling and then lots of room there for me to write a personal greeting. The sentiment is stamped with Catherine Pooler ink and it is Inside Quotes by Picket Fence Studios. And of course the purple ink that I used stained the stamps and I'm absolutely fine with that. I know that often these photopolymer stamps get stained and they still work fine. So aesthetically it might not look appealing but but it's just a stain i could stamp that with yellow ink and no color would come off of it it's, it doesn't bother me at all that bling oh my goodness the bling that's that honeybee prism gem stickers i love them i've used one full row and all but one on a second row they just they're self-adhesive they've got lots of sparkle and i don't know if you can tell but they're not all that high they don't impede the rollers going through the mailing service and then the butterflies. I think I've talked about the butterflies before as well. They're from Pink Fresh Studios and it's a whole set. Um, and, I, and I bought, I love butterflies, so I bought them all. So it is a stamp and there's that staining again. Like I said, I'm fine with it. I have used this dozens of times. Seriously, I have a whole bin of butterflies because once I have everything out, I just kind of go on a roll. It stamps the nine, that's a single stamp. It stamps the nine butterflies at one time and then there's the die. One pass through the machine and you get your nine butterflies. And there is also layering stencils. So I have in my butterfly bin, I have butterflies that I used the stamp and the coordinating stencils to add the color. So I didn't use Copic markers or any kind of markers to color in these butterflies. They were all done with the coordinating layering stencils. I have all of this linked on my blog, which is in that description box below. So the layering stencils added all of the color and that joy is you can choose your colors. And since, like, as I said, I had them out and I was making a whack load of them, I just did a whole bunch of different colorways. Some I used just the stencils and then die cut them. And some I used the stamp, 
the stencils and then die cut them. A variety of different looks and I I love butterflies so I am definitely can say I've, I think I've already got my money's worth out of this investment there. The happy birthday was sprayed with shimmer spray before I added the white layer on top so there is a bit of sparkle to that. I chose not to then go ahead and respray it with, um, with the spray on top of the white because I just liked that subtle shimmer on the shadow. So a really fun card. I hope my friend likes it. I think she'll be surprised because it's a new release. I know she won't have seen one like this before and I look forward to hearing her reaction. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. Just that one little action on your part makes such a difference for me on YouTube. It allows the video to go out to more people so more people can see it and that helps me grow my channel. I'd also love it if you subscribed and that's it for me today.